Aquarius, this is your spiritual guidance reading for January 2018. Now I'm doing these a little bit differently for 2018, okay? I'm doing more of an intuitive spiritual read. So it'll have something to do with a little bit of every area of your life. If it <clears throat> affects you, then take it. If it doesn't, then let it go. Okay. Um, also, I'll be ending with a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle, as I do with all my readings, especially um, the personal readings. Uh, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> okay, we'll get started. Okay. Okay, the first thing I see is a rock. Okay, it talks about you sticking by or standing by something that you believe okay not wanting to move from it okay your corresponding card here is the four of wands and i feel like you've created a happy situation where you are or what you're in within your life okay and you don't want that to change However, something is coming into your life in the form of a person. This could either be love or a friendship, okay? And you're very afraid to let that into your life for one reason or another. And it's okay to, to let that go. You just have to see things with truth, okay? Um, the truth of the matter, the truth of what's happening. I see you looking at something, but not moving, okay? So, it's all about communicating your needs fully. Um, yeah, communicating your needs fully about what it is that you want. Because you've already built something, you don't want that to be taken away from you and you don't want it to be disturbed in any way. But that's not any reason to keep yourself stuck, okay? And this could be also when it comes to your career as well, okay? But when it comes to career, I feel as though When it comes to something that you're definitely supposed to do in your life, you will be abundant in it, okay? You have the three of cups in reverse, okay? It may not be socially acceptable what it is that you want to do or what it is that you may want to ask of your employer, but, but I feel as though you will you will be justified in what you're doing. Maybe you're asking for more hours or a better position that you're applying for and I feel like you will be abundant in that. There may be a friend or a coworker that is also applying or asking for the same thing or you may not want to feel like <clears throat> you want more than anyone else but it's okay to ask. Um, I feel as though you will be supported in doing that. Okay. Now, when it comes to there being confusion within your life in any area, okay, including your career, um, it is all about you being happy, Aquarius. Okay. Um, you're at a time in your life where you are a clean slate and you deserve the right to be happy. You're go you have, I'm seeing two roads to choose. Okay, um, you can go down the road that you've always gone down, okay, to stay safe, or you can go down a different road, which will lead to something that will make you more happy, okay? You follow the path of being happy and continuously going on that path, and when there is a boulder or a rock, you know, you climb over it, deal with the situation or the burden, and then you continue to go forward, okay? Um, I feel as though you're going to come to some issues this month where you need to persevere. You need to work through them, okay? And then you'll continue to move forward. It's just about 
um, creating a joyful situation for yourself because I feel like you deserve it after all that you've been through. Okay. But you have to worry about your stubbornness, as I said before, okay. Um, being stuck in one particular situation and not moving to a next. Okay. There may be something that you're doing that your family doesn't appreciate. I feel like you're afraid to disappoint your family this month. You're afraid to disappoint your family or what your family may say about something. But I feel like your family will support you through anything. It's just that you don't want to disappoint them or you don't want to, to let them down. Okay. But there are things that are happening in your life. Tides are turning, situations are turning in your life that is creating more balance or more harmony, more happiness within your life. And like I said, with the boulders, you're going to have to, to get over things. Those boulders are being put in your path for a reason. Okay. And what it's, it's doing is it's continuously making you stronger within spirit, within yourself. Okay. It's like to see that you're listening, to see that you're paying attention, making the right judgments. It's calling for you to make better choices, make the right choices, make the right choices in your life. Like I said, there's a road. You're being called to pay attention for sure. Okay. So we're going to get to your Oracle card. Okay. You have message in a bottle and it came up in reverse. Okay. So let me just look it up in the book. Okay. So you have message in a bottle. I'm going to flip it over just for aesthetic reasons. Okay. It says communication, a sign, a Clayton, the ancient name for a spontaneous Oracle delivered innocently by a speaker pointing the way to your highest good. Are you refusing to acknowledge the signs because you want things as you want them? Red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They are warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right with you, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. Don't ignore the signs. Spirit always has your best interests at heart and will draw your attention to what you are overlooking. So that talks again about you being on the path that spirit wants you to be on and having decisions to make and making the right choices. Okay. So, um, just be aware that you will be called to make changes within your life and it, it creates a, a stream of happiness and joy within your life that you deserve. Okay. Miracles and creating balance and just know that you are supported definitely through this time Aquarius. Okay. So thank you so much for listening. I love you very much. I'll see you next month. Love and light.